Hey all you foodies, happy holidays, and welcome back to my channel for another fun recipe. Today I'm gonna to walk you through something I love to do, putting together a massive cold seafood spread that is guaranteed to be a crowd pleaser and is a perfect centerpiece for conversation, reminiscing, and just downright good seafood. I'll be showing you how to prepare the seafood for this along with a few different dipping sauces that are synonymous with colossal seafood towers just like this one. All this wonderful seafood arrived at my doorstep from Fulton's Fish Market, the largest fish market in the world, where they have been providing incredible seafood for over 200 years. They were established in 1822, pretty crazy. Normally they have been serving the most elite restaurants across the nation, but now have opened their doors to anyone, anywhere, anytime with fresh and frozen seafood. The holiday bundle that I received is called the New Year's Eve Celebration, and it was packed with all my favorites and much, much more. Check out the link in my description for some other seafood bundles that'll amp up your holiday get-togethers from Fulton Fish Market. Now, let's dive into the recipe. To kick this off, I'm gonna get started on this creamy scallop tartare that's made from diver scallops and is perfect to spread on toast points and savory crackers alike. First, you wanna remove what's called the inductor muscle on the side of the scallop, then give them a rough chop and add them to a bowl that's on ice to keep everything super fresh and chilled as you work. Next, finally chop a white onion and some parsley, then mix into the scallops some mayo, the chopped onions and parsley, as well as some lemon zest lemon juice, a sprinkle of salt, a little bit of horseradish, some olive oil, then give this a good mix and top with a fresh squeeze of lemon juice and cover with plastic and set this in the fridge for one hour. While the scallops are sort of marinating in the fridge, you're gonna get a pot of water on the stove and bring it to a simmer, then add in lemon slices, a quartered onion, bay leaves, and whole black peppercorns. Turn the heat up to high, add in the lobster, and cook for about five to seven minutes or until the lobster is cooked all the way through. Once cooked, transfer the lobster to a tray to cool off and move on to the whole shrimp. Now the size of these shrimp are 1620, so there are 16 to 20 per pound and will cook in about two to three minutes, so just be really careful not to overcook them. Again, once they're cooked, transfer the shrimp to a large tray and put them in the fridge to cool down. Now it's time for the dipping sauce bonanza, starting with cocktail sauce. So mix together ketchup, extra hot horseradish, a clove of finely chopped fresh garlic, cracked black pepper, lemon juice, a nice little splash of hot sauce, and Worcestershire sauce. Give it a mix, then on to the tartar sauce. In a bowl, you're gonna add in some mayo, finely chopped parsley and onion, as well as lemon zest and lemon juice. Give this a mix, and of course, don't forget the chopped capers like I almost did. Cover this and keep it in the fridge. Last but not least is the red wine mignonette for the oysters. In a bowl, you're gonna add in finely chopped red and white onions, a generous amount of cracked black pepper, red wine vinegar, and a dash of salt. Sauces are donezo. Okay, so the final items to take care of is the king crab legs and lobster tails now that they're cooled down. These crab legs are already cooked, so all you have to do is carefully split them lengthwise down each side of the leg, remove the meat, and make sure to remove the central cartilage that runs right down the center of the meat. Give it a gentle tug and it should slide right out. For the lobster, split them down the center, keeping both sides of the shell intact for presentation. Just like the crab legs, remove the meat, slice down the center of the tail, and lay the corresponding pieces in the empty shell to showcase the lobster meat in its original shell. Last but not least is the oysters. So first thing you wanna do is check to see if any of the oyster shells are open and if they don't close, discard them. Give the oysters a good rinse and a little scrub to remove any ocean grit and then you can start opening them by inserting an oyster knife into the muscle that keeps the shell closed and popping it free with a few evenly pressured wiggles of the knife. Then you're gonna slide the knife down the top of the shell to detach the central muscle and then do the same thing under the oyster meat so that it slides freely in the shell for easy consumption. All right, now it's time to finally assemble the tray in all its glory. For this seafood tower particularly, I'm going to do something a little edgy by adding um, some dry ice to the mix to not only keep the seafood super chilled as the guests eat it throughout the evening, but also adds an elegant vapor effect that is just an absolute showstopper. Anyways, there's no really right or wrong way to assemble the platter, but generally speaking, you wanna put the larger seafood on the bottom 
and the smaller seafood items up top. Mix and match the dipping sauces to each tier according to how you enjoy your seafood. Then it's time to enjoy this incredible platter of ocean to table love. What's up guys? Hopefully you guys enjoyed my take on this seafood platter. Gotta thank Fulton Fish Market for all their wonderful seafood. It's absolutely unbelievable that they can ship raw oysters, fresh shrimp, fresh seafood, fresh scallops all the way from across the nation. I can't believe that they actually have the operations, that things just go out that night, come to your house the next morning. It's mind blowing for me. I mean, this would never have been able to be done 10, 15 years ago, especially with the quality that they're producing. So gotta thank Fulton Fish Market for providing some incredible seafood and just really utilizing the uh, modern era of transportation uh, to their advantage, to our advantage. Getting the seafood, everything was super duper fresh. I used to order seafood all the time in different restaurants. I was very, very picky about it. They delivered to the nines. Like I said earlier, 1822, they've been established for a long, long time, guys almost 200 years now. They know what they're doing, very trustworthy. The packaging was beautiful. A lot of time and preparation went into that. So I'm gonna dive into this and run through some of the flavors. Let me get a fork and just enjoy this spread. First up, I'm gonna, this lobster just looks too good. Oh, one thing I forgot is fresh lemon. That's the one thing I forgot in the spread for the lobster. I gotta do lemon and a little bit of the tartar sauce. <laughs> wow, man. I haven't had a cold lobster spread in years. Oh, man, these are bomb. I gotta try this little creamy, um, like scallop tartare. Beautiful presentation. Mm. <laughs> so, so, so good. Fresh king crab. I mean, you barely can find small little sections of king crab at the grocery store. And these were like massive. These are like two and a half, three feet long legs. Nothing like king crab, especially when it just tastes like the ocean and it's a little sweet, has a little bit of that ocean salt into it and just super buttery, man. I love oysters. Mm. I'm using a little bit of seawater in there from where they were grown. I mean, it's like a very special flavor going on there because it's unique to the environment that they're growing in. So you kind of just get that, you know, sea to table feel, especially with oysters. I have to admit, this is just one of those spreads that for New Year's or Christmas night, any kind of like big events and treat some of your friends and family to something just super special. It's always nice to change it up. Just every once in a while, it's beautiful just to be able to do this uh, for folks that you love and enjoy hanging around and who really love food. This will be something they'll think about the whole year long and probably pressure you to do it next year. So I have a special link with Fulton Fish Market. Check it down below and you'll be able to check out their full spread, their full menu of so many different shellfish, seafood, whole fish, fillets. I mean, you can go through their site and it's like, for me, it's a dream come true. So if you're a foodie, You'll absolutely love just digging through that. Check out the link, give Fulton Fish Market some love. They definitely deserve it. A lot of hard work and passion going to this for 200 years. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the recipe. If you did, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you guys enjoy what I do here. Comment down below for future recipes and uh, things you wanna see on my channel. Of course, equipment links and the ingredients will be down below. So check those out and I'll see you guys next time with another recipe. Later folks.